All right, how are you guys doing tonight? Good? Awesome. Good, good. Awesome. Um, so uh, last, last week, uh, some people were here. Uh, I kind of talked a little bit about praying into your destiny and finding your calling, finding your purpose in life, and um, kind of the, the, uh, the model that, um, that I feel like uh, God had just given me. And basically what it is, it's, it's um, where you pray into your destiny, you pray into your calling, and you take actually what the Bible says in Scripture, for example, like repentance, forgiveness, your calling, uh, faith, what you believe, um, uh, relationships, loving God, loving people, you know, all the things that the Bible tells us to do, you know, um, and then, and then pray into those areas and ask God, ask God, how can I walk in the fullness of my destiny? Show me how. And, 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 and we kind of dive into these, you know, basic principles, you know, of scripture and just dive into it and get specifics and leave with specifics, uh, of, of guidance as to how God's specifically releasing us into the fullness of, of our destinies. And so we kind of talked a little bit about um, just the importance of that and, and what it means to walk in the fullness of your destiny. And so I just wanted to uh, read from uh, 1 Corinthians 3, uh, 1 Corinthians 3, which kind of talks about it a little bit more. And it says, uh, starting at verse 11, uh, 1 Corinthians 3, verse 11 says, No one can lay any foundation other than the one already laid, which is, uh, which is Jesus Christ. If anyone builds on this foundation using gold, silver, costly stones, wood, hay, or straw, their work will be shown for what it is because the day will bring it to light. It will be revealed with fire and the fire will test the quality of each person's work. If what has been built survives, the builder will receive a reward. If it is burned up, the builder will suffer loss, but yet he will be saved even uh, though only as one escaping through the flames. So there's, um, so that's pretty, that's pretty, pretty heavy, pretty heavy. Um, but basically, you know, we have a choice in life. We can, we can store up, you know, treasures on earth or we can store up treasures in heaven. We can store up gold, silver, precious stones, and we have the choice to do that every day in life. Or we can store up wood, hay, and straw that is just going to be burned up. And it says that when we stand before God, the light of His glory is going to reveal all of our works. <laughs> so, I mean, it's really basically what it is. The Bible says, seek the kingdom of God and His righteousness. And so we often think that seeking the kingdom of God has to do with like, you know, oh, this is that, that's that person over here that's not saved. You know, that, that, that's for them. I'm good. I said the sinner's prayer. And so, you know, they need to seek the kingdom of heaven. But, but I was talking about uh, last week, there's the goal within the goal. There's some people that know God. They have, they have God in their life. They've said the sinner's prayer. They've accepted Jesus, but they haven't, they haven't built they, had, they haven't given their life fully to the point where they have stored up treasures in heaven or a lot. And so that's the goal within the goal. And, and we want to we stand before God and hear him say, well done, my good and faithful servant. And so, um, you know, that, that's, that's my, you know, you know, Jesus you know, you think, oh, well, I'm not really motivated by rewards, you know. I mean, Jesus motivated us with rewards. I mean, so um, he knew that, you know, just to know that, to know that as we give our lives to his purposes and his calling and his ways, 
is, um, is, is really extremely important. And so you think about like your calling and your purpose and your destiny. Sometimes we think like, you know, it'll just land on our laps, you know, sometimes. But, but the Bible, but Jesus says, seek and you will find. Ask and it will be given to you. And sometimes, you know, we think, well, you know, God, I don't understand why, you know, because I feel like you've been talking to me about this ministry. I feel like you've been talking to me about, about this, 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 you know, business you want me to start. I feel like you've been talking to me about, about this and that, and it hasn't happened. And some people, they're, they're, they're waiting on God. They're waiting for him to do something. But actually, God's waiting on us in a lot of ways. <laughs> he said, seek and you will find. Ask and it will be given to you. Knock and the door will be open. And there's sometimes God has already given the blueprint to us. And we haven't, and we haven't taken those steps to really, to really put our hand to the plow. I think about like when the disciples, they came before Jesus and they were upset. They felt rejected because Jesus told them to go out and, and preach the gospel to people and invite people to, to his dinner. And they went out and they told people like Jesus told them to do. And, and what did they say when they came back? He said, Jesus, we, we were rejected. You told us to go out and we were rejected. They, they you know, they wouldn't come. And, and, and what did Jesus do? Did Jesus say, oh, well, you know, you should just cry in your room, I guess, or something. You know, just go off in a corner somewhere because you must be not doing it right. He says, no, he didn't say that. He said, he said keep going. He said, keep asking, keep knocking, keep seeking, keep getting up. You know, um, I can't tell you, oh, my gosh, how many times um, I, um, I remember when I, start, I first started, God spoke to me about um, being a worship leader. And, uh, oh, my gosh, like, I remember when I first started playing Oh my gosh, I I just felt like I was so bad, just so terrible. And my brother, and I have a little brother. I don't know how many of you have a little brother and know what it's like when you're kind of doing something and your little brother comes in the room. You know, is he that's not the most encouraging person. Has anybody dealt with that? <laughs> so he he'd come in, he's like, and, and he'd just be like, You really stink. You know what I mean? He'd say stuff like that. You know, you gotta love little brothers, you know. Anyways. Um so, so, you know, I, I really didn't have much encouragement growing up, but I, I knew, you know, God, God w- w- was telling me that he wanted me to sing. He wanted me to play. He wanted me to, to lead worship. And, and uh, you know, I just, I kept at it and I was like, man, I just feel like I'm terrible. And over the years and over the years and, 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 and after, you know, different auditions and, you know, not getting certain auditions and connecting with churches and not getting, you know, just one after the other, after the years of just keep going after it and practicing, I finally started getting some of the auditions, you know, and, and getting, you know, and, and working with different churches. I mean, years. And so, you know, sometimes when, you know, you, your, your destiny doesn't necessarily fall in your lap. I mean, I've heard on occasion so, sometimes it, it does, but, um, you know, I, a lot of times... Uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's blood, sweat, and tears. And so it's definitely work. So, you know, it's important. So the first step is just kind of getting that blueprint. And some people have that already. Maybe some people have part of it. Maybe some people, um, yeah, you, you might already know. And, and God just wants to help encourage you to step in that and people to pray for you, to encourage you in that and to stand with you in your calling. And, um, we're all at different places, but I mean, the first step is just getting that blueprint from heaven, and that, that that's my heart. That's my hope uh, with this group in this Bible study is that people would get these downloads from heaven, because it's 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 really because I really want prayer to be a big part of it, encountering the love of the Father, you know, and with that catching. God's destiny and his purpose for our life. So that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that blueprints from heaven come and people leave 
And they're like, man, I, I, I know where I'm going better now. You know, that, that's my heart. And they feel encouraged in whatever that is, in Jesus' name. So I just uh, wanted to uh, pray for you guys and, uh, and give it over to, back over to Pastor Mike. So, Father, we just pray. Just continue to, to help us all walk in our purpose and our destiny. God, I just pray that, that, um, that you would help us. To, to, to see the, the importance of it, that that revelation of, of that now is the time, that the, the exchange rate is the highest right now, that when we seek to step into the fullness of our destinies and whatever that is on our lives, that whatever that is, where we haven't stepped into that, we need to first know what it is, and then take everything and put it into that. Come on, God. So I just pray that, that we would be people that would not store up wood, hay, and stubble. But we would be people that would store up gold, silver, and precious stones with our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. So, Father, we pray blessings on Anthony. We just pray that as he starts a, a ministry that it will be ordained by you for such a time as this, that it would encourage people in the anointing and the calling on their lives. Lord, we just pray that uh, Anthony would be the instrument of the King of Kings, and through him will throw the anoint, flow the anointing of, of the Lord, the power of the Holy Spirit, to transform Fort Pierce for you. Lord, we just thank you for him and his heart for you, and we bless him now and the ministry that is opening before him. In Jesus' name. Amen. And I'll just.